Naked. Cool. So tell me, you think we'll take him to bed? No, I think you will take him to bed. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, so tell me. Ah, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> tell me I love you. Okay. Girls. <laughs> Another cake. Check it out. Looks like your tent cake today. <laughs> From ten different men. No, really. How many boyfriends do you really have? Boyfriends? Yeah. <laughs> Toasters. Boyfriend. So boring. Don't you get scared? I mean, maybe they would clash someday. No, really. What if Thompson came himself to drop the cake? And also John, and also the others. And they will fight about themselves. And you know what? Quite frankly, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but you know what? Hmm. I'm having dinner with the guy who gives me the biggest present. And if he's really, really sweet, we could just have more than dinner. You're so unbelievable. <laughs> and so are you. I mean, really, look at you. 20, beautiful, and not one gift on Val's Day. If I wanted a gift, I could have bought one myself. But anyway, I'm going to church. See you later. Church? Today? Yeah? <sighs> I mean, Buki, it can't be that bad. I can get you a guy, really. <laughs> You need a social life. I have a Jesus life. That's okay for me, okay? But thanks anyway. Later. Um, I also have to go to the library, okay? Say hello. Is that too hard for you to say? I said buzz off. Is that so hard for you to understand? Oh my god. But, uh, uh excuse me. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, on a serious note, on a serious note, I hear you're very hot. Mm hmm Well, you wouldn't know who said education is an ornament in prosperity and a refuge in adversity, would you? Sorry? <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, I guess when the boys say you are hot, they did not really mean academic intelligence. They really meant... Well, I have my hands full. Sorry. I wish that you said it. He also said that man at his best is the noblest of all animals separated by law and justice. He's the worst. Looks like you have been separated by law and justice yourself. Cynthia, yeah, that's my I think we should start going. I don't think the lecture will come again. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks for coming to my rescue. That guy is such a bastard. Oh my, thanks because he's brilliant. I thought I was one that the world belongs to me. Is he really brilliant? Yes. The guy is the top in the class. Um, come to think of it, you've not had lectures with him before. Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Well, anyway, don't worry. We will find out just how brilliant he is. Right. Right. I have to go to the library. Okay, I'll see you guys later. All right, thank you. Right. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Going Bye. to the room. name in the mighty name of Jesus father Lord I commit myself into your hands today Lord Lord God I commit my energy
enemies into your hands, oh Lord. I ask that all my enemies within and without, let fire burn them. Fire burn them. All my enemies, let fire burn them. Let fire burn them. All my enemies within and without, let fire burn them. Let fire burn them. Let fire burn them. In Jesus' name, I prayed. Jesus, I commit myself into your hands. In Jesus' name, I pray that amen. Cynthia, was he planning on staying here tomorrow morning? Look at the time, it's 10 p.m. How exactly was he bothering you? Huh? Hey, well, I wanted to go and have a shower, first of all. Then I went to get some sleep. Look, 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 you know what, um, let me tell you what we do. I think you should go and lodge in an hotel. And that's how you can have them whatever time you want to have them too. Eh, hey, please don't give me that sharp out of yours because mine is even sharper. I don't even know who, 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 who it was, you or Chidera. Ah, uh, you guys never ever have fun. What is it? I have told you before. Christ gives me all the fun I need. Mm. Look, you know what? Mm. I'm going to tell Chidera we have to put some moves into this house. From now on, no one moves into this house, into this bedroom after 8 pm, okay? Because I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> so, you and children want to gang up against me. Hmm? We shall see who we win now. Eh? Don't worry. Look, I don't have a time this night. I don't have a time this night. Hello, mommy. You would not believe this. I scored 95% in philosophy. Nobody has ever beat that record. Come on, mommy. I'm sure every prince will say that. And I'm sure that if I knew my father, he would say the same thing of himself. <laughs> anyway, Bath, by the way, how are you? <laughs> so why don't you just take the next available flight down to Nigeria? Come on, mommy, do something spontaneous for once in your life. Money, mommy. Come on, mommy. Don't spoil me. You only sent me money last week, so I'm totally and absolutely fine. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, mommy. My credit is running out and I have to run along. I love you and I miss you so much. Okay, bye. Today, I won't be taking so much of your time. I will treat only Metaphor and oxymoron. Metaphor is a figure of expression which allows for two incompatible words. A fusion of these two incompatible words will give a seemingly self contradictory effect. You know, for instance, you have bittersweet experience. Young man, what's your name? You. My name is Mike. Oh, Mike. Now you can say that the romance between Mike and Chidera is a bittersweet experience. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's quickly go to Oxymoron. Oxymoron is one of the very many, one of the very divergent figures of expressions in contemporary English literature. It is a juxtaposition, a fusion, a synthesis, a solemnization of lexical matrimony of two root lexicons, oxy and moron. Say oxy. Moron. 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 Now, the marriage, the coming together of Oxy and Moron gives what we know in English literature as Oxymoron. Say Oxymoron. 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 Now, what is Oxymoron? Oxymoron is this figure of expression which allows for a direct comparison between one thing and the other, but to the exclusion, to the alienation, 
to the lexical quarantine of the simulate as or like. For instance, instead of using as or like, you can say chidera, instead of saying chidera is like halogen bulb, you will say chidera is halogen bulb. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I will entertain very few questions before I leave the class. Yes, yes. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir, but I think you have everything mixed up. Yes. Yeah. You gave us the definition of oxymoron as metaphor and uh -huh. metaphor for oxymoron. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> What are you laughing? <laughs> oh, you see, uh, uh. <laughs> see, this is the effect of studying in a non-English speaking country like Russia, like Uzbekistan. <laughs> I am a scholar. I won't allow you to make me or reduce me into some form of intellectual mimicry. <laughs> Simple. Look, it's high time I left this class. I'm leaving this class. I am leaving this class. If you had seen what Chida did in class today, she corrected a lecturer in class. She did? Yes. That is interesting. You are so bold. Huh. Don't let him fail you. Huh. Shouldn't you have gone to meet him in private? No. Why would I want to do that? I mean, these lecturers should sit up. I stopped relying on some knowledge they acquired 30 years ago. <laughs> Someone had got to tell them that. You know, the next Anaga is coming to class. Believe you me, he will be so prepared. Not just coming to class and showing off with some hand that he would, he would <laughs> if I was once. What is that? I mean, Buki, who on earth confuses Ozumoron for metaphor? Even the primary six would, would know that. They're just two extremes. What if I didn't know it and every other person didn't even read? So would I just take that fact and that's it and fail? I couldn't have taken that chance now. Chidera hmm. did no nonsense, chick. Dera! Chi! So how do I look? Do I look sexy enough? I think you look sex stuffed. Auntie, the neckline is too low. Is it? Yes. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay. I'm going somewhere? Yes. With a fine boy who finds me attractive. So those of you who call me old school are in for a shocker. This young guy is going to bring youth back into my eyes. You know, Auntie, with the way you're going, hmm? I think you actually write a poet book someday. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> and that reminds me, Mommy sent you some money. Aha. Uh -huh. I should have known that. Something must always bring you. Look at it now. Since you entered at your school, you no longer come to visit your Auntie Philo. Yeah? All of you said I shouldn't have a boyfriend though. But come and visit the Auntie Philo. You people will not. You see? You want me to die of loneliness. <laughs> Auntie, but you know that is not true. You also know that I've been very busy with school. Yeah? And I also come to visit you whenever I have a chance to. Okay. I'm sorry if you think that way. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay. And nobody said you couldn't have a boyfriend. Or even get married again. I can. Of course you can, why not? <laughs> I think that's him. Are you in for the night? 
No, no. I have to go back to school. Okay. Then we'll have to drop you out. He has a chip. Have you no one enter gym? I'll pass. <laughs> go. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. Hello, pretty. Hi. My name is Chidera and you are... Well, I... Oh, should I call you Obi? You have a smart tongue. But it's okay. My name is Brian. I'm sure you remember me from the philosophy class. Mm? Hey, congratulations. You must have impressed Prof to give you a 95. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you reading? <laughs> can I join you? Do you mind if I sit there? I'm not sure I can. Uh, but I was just leaving. What? Did the house get bombed? Something was done, Dad. Oh God, what happened? He broke my heart. Can you imagine the fish? After promising me heaven and earth, one day he just stopped picking my cups. I went to his office. The idiot pretended as if he didn't know me just because he was with another woman. Auntie, Auntie, I can't believe this. <laughs> Wait, is this why you left home? to my school to tell me. Is this, Auntie, is this what is urgent? Is it not urgent? Eh? Eh, Chidera? I don't blame you, Chidera. Just because you are still young and beautiful and all the men are running after you. You don't know how it feels. You don't. Auntie, you know that's not true. It's not true. You, you're very beautiful. And you're still very attractive. A lot of men will, will actually find you attractive. But my only problem with you is that you should stop chasing small boys. Leave them. They are the ones chasing me. I'm not, I'm not chasing them. They are the ones. How dare you judge me? Chidera. You don't know how it feels to be a widow after only seven years of marriage. You don't know. You don't know what it means to wake up in the midnight without anybody to hold you or talk to you for years and years and years. You don't know. Auntie, I know what it means. No, you don't. I understand how you feel. But you know you should have gotten married a long time ago if you had chosen to. All I'm saying is put much of your energy into something more productive. Surely you're not the only widow in Lagos home and they're still coping very fine. I'm not saying that you cannot chase men that men cannot chase you, no. All I'm saying is I go for your age group. And see, at the rate you're going, one day you'll be carrying my classmates. What's wrong with that anyway? What's wrong with it? Eh? I've been expecting you to introduce me to one of them. In fact, let me tell you the truth. That's exactly why I came to look for you in the campus. This is the reason. And see, sorry you. But please, let me go back to my classroom, eh? Um, I know you. This discussion will take us nowhere. I know you. Eh? Let me just go. Chidera, you can't just walk out on me like that. I have not finished. Come back here, Chidera. Come. Oh, no disrespect. Good afternoon. Okay. I think that was good afternoon. I'm Philo. Philo. <laughs> yeah, I. That must be your daughter. She's very, very beautiful and. Very pretty. Thank you. Well. Just like her mother. Yeah. 
actually I'm her classmate and oh, really? I see you both just had a little misunderstanding. It's okay. It's okay. It's just okay. I was thinking if you can give me her number so that I can talk some sense into her. Lagos students. Everybody come and hear us. Can you imagine this two idiots? He has got to ask for my daughter's number. Are you crazy? Eh? Come and take it. You won't go and read your book. Eh? What do you call my daughter on phone? Because she's stupid. Can you, can, you, can you imagine this kind of students we have nowadays? <laughs> oh my god. Secondary school was so. Oh, old. yeah, it was. And, and you said. <laughs> Came without her when she was really very small. <laughs> oh! No. Address. How could you do that? Well, how do you ever think I would give him our house dress? He probably followed me home. Jesus Christ. That guy has been all over me for days. Look, what part of no doesn't he understand? The N or the O? Or both? You know what? Tell him I'm not around. But you must have heard your voice. No. The guy is still in your room. I'm not around. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi. How did you find me? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you were a goldfish. You, you were a goldfish. She's a goldfish, right? <laughs> you agree she's a goldfish, right? <laughs> and a goldfish like you can never hide. So I found you. Chida, have lunch with me, please. Just once. Want. I won't hurt you. I won't eat you up. But you could bore me up. <clears throat> Before you came in, I and my friends were having a, a very private talk. Well, <laughs> I understand. You know, I understand, and I don't. I don't mean any harm. Okay, I, I will leave. I will. Um, but just know that. This guy has an incurable disease. Never give up. But that makes two. Because this girl right here has the same disease but different name. Never gives in. <laughs> Interesting. That's a good one. That means we have something in common, right? 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 <laughs> okay, I'll leave. Um, hey, um, I have something I believe will enhance your private discussion. Ladies, chocolates? <gasps> chocolates! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Later. 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 <laughs> Later. Goldfish. Later. Crazy! I beg you. Very funny. <laughs> I told you I was gonna whip you again and again. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Brian. Those girls we saw outside are hot. Their hips are wicked. What do you think? Ali, let's go and strike. Who knows? Today might just be a lucky day. Well, I mean, you can go and strike if you are interested, but I'm not. You know. This guy, Brian, I don't do those things anymore. I don't play those games anymore. Wow. I have thrown in the towel. Woo. Brian is in love. Yeah. Wow, this is unbelievable. <laughs> With Chidera. You got it. Oh, come on. Don't waste your time, Brian. That girl, she's not interested in any guy. I mean, half the school have tried. She doesn't think anybody is good enough for her. Yeah, but I'm not half the school. I am Brian. 
I know, but forget it. It won't work. There are a thousand willing ones out there. Why would you exert energy chasing one unwilling one? A bitchy one at that. Don't call her any names. Do Stop. you understand? Easy, man. Relax. I didn't know it was so serious. Well, now you know. Yes, I do. Popular, but all this wow, I'm finally going to be fat. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have the perfect idea. Why don't we have a cake party? This is not all, there's some in the bedroom. He got me 21 cakes. Look, please, not touch it because I am so returning everything. Turns cakes, okay? Maybe rings, even though I'm not so sure why they do that, particularly if it's a diamond ring. Okay, girl, if you don't want the guy, who says you can keep the ring? Well, I do not want him, neither do I want any other person. I just want to be left alone. Okay, whatever. What I'm saying is, if anyone did this for me, ah, uh, I wouldn't think twice about it. Oh, I go so fall in love. We would roll onto his bed and maybe then the altar and oh god, this is a heavenly cheater. I could be. Cynthia, could you please just stop this? Please. Can you just be serious for once in your lifetime? Please. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. Can I have some? Please. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I think we still have a knife in this house, so you could help yourself out with it. <laughs> What is your problem? Well, um, considering when lectures ended, I was just wondering if you were ever going to come home again. I just think you should get a mattress, you know, get a full bed, put it in the library, and make it your second home. I am not interested in your funny talks today, okay? Just leave me the hell alone. Do you hear me? Leave me alone. But I can't. Chidera, I need to see you. You are like fever in my blood. Could you please spare me those lines and give it to some girl who needs it the most, please? Okay, I just need to show you something. I just need to show you something. I don't... I don't get you. Don't you... Can't you read the writings on the wall that I am not interested in whatever you have to show me or you? Why don't you just leave me alone? Chidera. Don't you hear English? Isn't it your first language? Chidera. I just want to show you something this one time and I can promise you I will never ever bother you the hell again just this one time and and, and bear in mind my, my first language is not English it's Yoruba <laughs> well, at least I got you to laugh <laughs> God you are so impossible
The food is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's exactly as they say. You know, I've always wanted to be here, but my books won't let me. I'm so blown away. It's so beautiful. How did you know this was my best food? I have my ways. What do you want from me? I just want to love you. You don't have to love me back. Just let me love you. That's all I want. And I'll be fine. Ah, oh, thank you. And, well, to prove how much I love you, I want you to have this little me. Thank you. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Yeah? I love it. I've never owned one before. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. Smelling good already. <laughs> so, how far have you done? Fine. I'm just boiling the rice. Okay. Just making the sauce. Auntie, there's something I want to talk to you about. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. Too good to be true. Something must always bring you here. <laughs> well, at least it always brings me here and not somewhere else. Well. There's a boy in school that likes me, and um, I think I like him too. Oh, so what's the problem? Sex. As long as he uses a condom. Auntie, hey, how could you say such a thing like that? Say what? Are you still a small girl? Look at you. <laughs> If my parents had lectured your mother on sex education, I'm sure she would have done better than get pregnant for an unknown idiot. And got everybody, gave everybody a headache. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked like that. That's insensitive. She got everybody angry with her pregnancy. But now, see what you've got here. The bestest girl in the whole world. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Auntie, don't worry. I do not have any plans to make the same mistakes my mother did. I'm a big girl, I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. It's just that. I don't feel like it's right for me to have a boyfriend now. All I just want to do is face my studies and I don't want to get distracted. It shouldn't distract you as long as you know when to draw your lines and he also is a very serious student. Oh yes, he is. He's a very studious person. I don't know. What do you think? My dear, this is the best time to hook a man. Now that you're still young and fresh, when you get older, they will give you attitude. Hmm. And see, me, attitude. I would not take attitude from any man, whether I am old or young, never. That is it. Mm -hmm. And if they give it to you, what will you do? Um, give them back. Ha. <laughs> Yeah. 
I do not want to go. Madeira, my father has invited us for dinner. Brian, say I don't want to go. My dad is the most charming old man in the whole wide world. And you will like him. And I know he will like you too. Because he's attracted to intelligent females like you. Oh, really? Yeah. So, is that safe then? You know, I don't want to go luring him to do something he doesn't want to do. <laughs> no, but seriously, Brian, I think it's too soon. We only just started dating. Really? Yeah. So, how come I have this feeling that I've known you for life? Or was it in my past life? Hmm? <laughs> Come on, let's freshen up and go. Okay. Hey. Come on. Hey. There you go. Well, that is one way of looking at it. But for me, I think the core of all religion is fundamentally the same. It's love, it's service to humanity, and stuff like that. Where does the violence come in? Human nature, ignorance, purposeful misinterpretation of the scripture for selfish reasons. And I also think um, culture has a lot to do with it. Yes, because in the olden days, there were a lot of fights going on. People had to fight wars, you know? It was about survival of the fittest. Um, it's either you're fighting with someone or someone is bound to fight with you and take all that you have. So there was a lot of fightings and killings. But thank God for our present day and age where we don't need to fight. We have the police service and courts where we can settle our disputes. And uh, that I've been carried away. <laughs> I hope you're not thinking this is one of those who can pose a better argument nights because we're supposed to be having dinner, having fun, and having a good laugh. Well. Well, uh, well then, I, uh, <clears throat> I'll just sit up and uh, enjoy being in the company of this beautiful young lady. Um, <clears throat> what are you studying, my dear? Mass communications, sir. This is mass communications? Oh, this is very, very interesting. Oh, my late wife was a broadcaster. Are you interested in that? No, sir. I, I don't. I just want to major in PR, public relations. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You know, that is the greatest challenge we have at Spring World. Getting the right public relations person is such hard work. It's either they don't know 
uh, what to say, or they don't know how to dress well. But you, my dear, I think you will be perfect. Brian, what do you think? Dad, you only just met her. My opinion will be, can she eat in peace and quiet, please? <laughs> But I, I, I like her already. Beauty and brains, what, a, what an absolute cracker. What a cracking combination. Oh, no, 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 my dear. I think you are absolutely lovely. Um, let me add some more wine. Oh. No, no, thank you, sir. I've, I've had enough. Enough? It's only a one glass and you've not even got up to half of it. <laughs> my dear, you should always drink red wine. It's good for your heart. <laughs> Let's see. Cheers to you. Cheers, uh, Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Do this peacefully or violently. It's a choice. Get out of my way. Not so fast. I want you to leave my Brian alone. Do you get it? Do you get that? You can have it. Can I go? Yeah, do you think? Who did they make this chakra for? I bet you want more brushes, eh? My dear, tell me what happened. How was it? Hmm. I don't know. I should never have done this thing, really. I don't know what listened to both of them in the first place. It's not like I see them alone. Sweetie, come on. We know that you're happy being alone. But trust me, when you find the right guy, you'll be lots happier. Take my life for instance. I'm very happy. You know, anytime I think about that, I just have some butterflies in my stomach and. Ah! Uh, I just lose my breath. Enough it, Rich. You go just die there. Yeah, yeah. I beg, tell us what this guy do, didn't do. Where did he take you to? That would have been better. The monkey tried to rape me. What? Rape? After we had dinner at Niela's. Horrible food, by the way. He said he went to see a friend of his briefly. And that's why I mostly followed the guy, you. Only for him to log down. It can't start to kiss to yours truly. Oh, eh? well, you know now. In damn rock. <laughs> you can remember those character classes we had? Mm -hmm. Try with the virus and everything. Yeah. They came in so handy. Hey. I showed him, eh? I kicked him in the right places. Correct. I am so sure that when he sees me again tomorrow, he'll probably pass another way around. <laughs> That's why I'm always so weird. All most of these church brothers. Can you imagine? My dear, I'm sorry. This man can just be despicable. Meanwhile, Talking about karate classes. And yeah, he came in handy for me the other night too. Ah, again? I said I was coming back from the library. Some foolish idiots in this school stopped me and asked me to stay away from Brian. <laughs> they wanted to greet your sister. Me. Are you serious? But by the time I finished with them, hey, they all ran away. They oh. all ran away. Hey, my God. What's wrong with sense? You are <laughs> really okay. All men are not the same. Some are really different, you know. Mm. Just like my Brian is different. <laughs> Sweet. One more mention of Brian, and I swear, you sleep outside. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? Guy.
enough what kept you. You know I hate any form of indiscipline. An inability to keep to time is indiscipline. That I'm sorry. But the traffic jam is There's always traffic in Lagos. They should stop. People should stop using it as an excuse. You should have factored it in and left earlier. wanted you to meet. Uh, there are people that you need to know. They hold the four aces. And when they say stand, you better jump up. Uh, they waited and waited and waited for you. Uh, they had uh, other engagements. So they had to go, but not to worry. I'll uh, arrange another meeting. Okay, then. Yes. Lecture, two-hour lecture. Standing throughout, there were not enough seats, the room was overcrowded, you can hardly hear the lecturer, and it's hot. Oh, no wonder, no wonder we find it difficult to get suitable candidates for our jobs. How much learning can they do under those awful, inhuman conditions? Oh. God help us. My son. Yes, sir. Are you strong enough to have lunch? I'm strong enough for lunch. <laughs> On me. Oh yeah, you pay. <laughs> <laughs> you are paying. <laughs> hey, babe, what's up? I'm fine. How you doing? Cool. <laughs> Have you found out about Brian? I told you, Didi, the number is bad, then trust me. Nothing good can come out of it. The guy bombs everything. Please, 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 please. So what makes me an exception? Okay, why do you think all those girls are running after him, eh? So there must be something about him that's making them. So, I mean, forget Didi. Concentrate on the older men, crying out loud. Older men. Those older men are there for the cash. Well, it's your choice after all. Brian is my choice and watch me go get him. <laughs> Girl, it may, not, it may not be as easy as you think. Brian. <laughs> Brian is just a piece of cake. So, watch me. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop it. Are you Brian? Stop it. Hey. Please stop. I beg. You're beginning to vex me with this your brand, this Brian, that. Ah, oh, what is it? I hope you're not beginning to fall in love with this guy. Really. Like I said, you don't need this love crafting, okay? Just get what you're gonna get out. I hope this dude is rich, yeah? Cynthia, I am not after his money. I can work for my money. Besides, Brian and I were just so... <sighs> in love. Are you serious? You tell me, what if you had an accident now? For example, you lost your arm. You think he'll still love you? <laughs> get real! Stop it, okay? We are in love and that's that. It sounds like you're trying to convince yourself. I'm not! What is your problem? When I did not have a boyfriend, you were on my neck. Now I have a boyfriend, I don't know what your problem is. What can I tell me? What would you rather have me do? Just guard your heart, sister. Okay? It's like you've always been guarding your own of me. Yeah! Oh, please. <laughs> Ray, Ray, look at your girlfriend. Please. Lover boy. <laughs> Hey, how are you? How many girlfriends do you have? What is this about? You know you're the only one in my life. And before me? What does it matter? That's in the past. Well, it does. Because they've been coming after me. In just one week, I've had two of your girlfriends come to harass me. Look, Brian, you had better clean up your act or we are done. I would not even think twice about it. Another one who asks you not to keep your living in check. Excuse me. Shadira. Dr. I want to ask you something. I don't understand. I've never scored below 60. Never. 
well, you, you, you did this time. Okay, can I at least have a look at my paper? At least to see, see how, it was, how, how I, I, I fared, to see my marks, to know how you scored me. Young man. Do you mean, are you insinuating? Are you implying that, or rather, simply put, are your actions or gesticulations pointing or implying the fact that I don't know what I'm doing? Look, young man, for your information, I have three masters. Oh, yes, three degrees. Yes. And I would have had a PhD if not for the fact that my lecturer, oh, my supervisor, he dropped dead. One minute silence for the departed soul. Oh yes. My lecturer died of acute post-psycho-emotional stress, traumatic stress, and also psycho-umbilical meningitis of the cerebellum. Oh yes. That is why he died. And let me tell him, let me just tell you. Don't be, don't be um, deceived by my youthful look. I had studied since I was a scholar, right from my mother's womb. Oh yes, my mother's womb. Oh yes, there. Now, I studied even way before you were born. Long, long, long before your father met your mother. Long before your father even summed up courage to approach your mother. Long before your father and your mother somersaulted and you were a byproduct. Now, let me just tell you, I was so brilliant, young man. I was so brilliant. Brilliant to the fact that I obtained a scholarship to study in the USSR, the then Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, way back when Russia was a communist state. And do you know who invented communism? Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, what we know as Marxism. Oh yes, Marxism. Did you know that? Now let me just tell you, don't you question my intelligence, okay? Because you are talking to the sumum bunum of literary studies. The unconditioned condition that conditions every literary condition. The bim, oh yes, of literary studies. So don't you dare question my intelligence. If I tell you you scored 50, Young man, you scored 50. Believe me, you scored 50 and do not question my intelligence. Move. Can, 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 I, can I just ha have my paper? I still have the right to see my paper. At least to know where I went wrong. Oh my God, look, young man, hmm? let me just tell you. Unfortunately, you know, I, I have a way with pets hmm? and a dog, a dog just came in and ate some of the scripts I had in my closet and unfortunately yours was m among them. What dog, sir? <laughs> what? You, wait, wait you, young man! Are you insinuating the fact that I am a dog? I'm sorry, the way things are going, I will have to go to the HOD. Go to God if you think, if you can. Look, do you think education and intelligence is all about doing washing and setting? Jerry Cole, well, can you imagine? Look at you, with the complexion of MTN, talking to, coming to talk to me like that. An intellectual bulldozer. Oh, yes. Look, just, just look at this young man. Look at this academic caricature. Can you imagine? Me? A whole me? Oh, my God. Can you see what Africa has done to young minds? Chidera. I'm sorry about the other girls, okay? I am sorry. But there is no other person. There is no one apart from you. You have to believe me. And for as long as you are in my life, there will never be another one. I can promise you that.
just tell me you think about it. And I'll be okay. Tara, I love you. something wrong huh don't people in love kiss everywhere possible for someone to be this happy. I keep asking myself all these questions. Like, is it for real? Is it genuine? Is it gonna last? I don't know. Until he asked me to marry him. All I just want right now is more success. I don't know if marriage is going to slow things down for me. Slow things down? I thought you said he's very rich. Yes. He has money. Yes. Eh, that's all that matters. Huh? Surely I think you should bring him home. I will be able to tell if it's real or not. After all these years, I can read through their lies. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, thank you. Maybe I should bring him home. Bring him home. Thank you. You are the best. I'm sure you will like him. I hope he's genuine because I've never seen you this excited. Hmm? Reminds me of when I first met my husband. Ah. He's the most wonderful man I ever met in this world. You know he would have given me the world if death did not snatch him away from me. <sighs> we are so in love. That's why I can't get myself to get married to another man. Because everybody will be competing with his ghost. You know I still love him. I know. Ha! Life. 
Nice. your husband i hope you won't come to the market and spend all this money one day shall we finish buying let us go now i mean you should price things before you buy them don't just give them money in the market money is hard to come back Welcome anytime, eh? I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. That one is high scent. I mean, heaven descent. Hey, hold him tight, my daughter. Hold him. <laughs> He's got the looks, the money, and the charm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I know that he has charmed you. He really has. <laughs> Too popular. What line, son? When is that you're holding? I'm pregnant. Jesus! Whoa! I did a test, and the result is positive. <laughs> you're kidding me. Uh, no, 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 I mean, you have got to be kidding me. I don't know who still has unprotected sex in this time and age. Or did the condom leak? No, I don't think so. Do you have any idea how many exes Brian has had? And you still open up your leg for unprotected sex? We were carried away, okay? It was a night he proposed. Oh, please, don't give me that crap. Please, Cynthia, don't scream my heart. She hasn't been with us since, okay? She's about to feel even worse when she finds out she has contracted some disease. I mean, I'm the bad girl, and everyone expects that this will happen to me, not you. Not you. I'm sure you can wait, huh? You can wait. You can Why do you do you hate me now? Are you tired of me? I missed my period. Period? What period? Who who was a lecturer? Come on, Brian, please don't make this harder on me. Okay? I'm pregnant. What? Well, um, um, uh, what? I, 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 I think you, you, you are about it, right? Ch Chidera, listen, I, I'm not the careless type. I've never been careless until that night, and I can promise you, it's not going to happen again. Listen, I will get you a good doctor. to keep it. 
What? I said I want to keep it. Are you, are you crazy? Do you realize we are both still in school? Forget my father and all the property he has. I'm a very independent person. I have a very good career ahead of me. In fact, both of us. And I'm not willing to jeopardize that for because you want to keep this thing. It's a baby. And we both made it. And I would not jeopardize my life under a knife just because you choose to be irresponsible. Well, we already have been irresponsible by making it in the first place. And now you want us to be even more irresponsible by bringing it into this world where we don't have intentions of caring about it? Huh? I can't do it. I won't. I want to keep it. Well, I'm afraid you're on your own then. I'm on my own. Girl, did you just say I am on my own? For seven days now, he hasn't called. He used to call me every second of the day. I don't understand it. How can someone say he loves you so much? And yet he doesn't want to see you. All because I want to keep our baby. I don't think it means he doesn't love you. I think he's just trying to force you to have an abortion. Every time I spoke to him, ever since I told him about it, he sounded different. It's either get rid of it or should I choose from the boat? Buki, I am so confused. I can't do this alone. My mom and my auntie will be coming for my graduation. They'll be so disappointed in me. I can't stand to see my mother with my swollen stomach. After all they taught me, This happened to me. I don't want to go through what my mother went through with me. I don't. Maybe you should talk to his father. Since the both of you are close. Look, you have to think hard. You know my stand on abortion. But whatever it is you decide, Cynthia and I will be here for you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best of friends that I've ever had. I only just wish that I listened to Cynthia. Pookie, I love him so much. I love him with everything that I am. Feels as though my heart has just been ripped out. Away. Uh, Everything will be all right. Everything will be fine. You'll see.
Look at her. <laughs> Look, Chudera. I'm getting tired of seeing your now ugly face. I mean, it's three months now. Three, and you're still brooding. Look, it's our final year, and you know, you have to concentrate on your studies. If not, you will fail. You need to forget that bastard and then focus on your studies. I mean, even I, I'm beginning to read, and I'm off, man. He will pay. He will pay for the pain that he has put me through. He will pay ten times and feel worse than I feel now. Alright, that's my girl. If you need my services, I'm offering them FOC. <laughs> Thanks. So, I would like to know everything about that uh, Didi girl. Oh. That one. <laughs> you know her. So why don't you say anything about her to me? <laughs> I beg you. Not before my mouth they could hear say Faunyash they read. But anyways, it's not that serious. She's in need for the money. And we share a few clients. I think he's crazy. And perhaps she's just hot in bed. I have a plan. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me. Ah. Oh, my love. Come and give your father in love. <laughs> How is Brian? You two lovebirds abandoned an old man to his own devices. Hmm. Oh. And uh, this angel is called? My name is Cynthia, and it's nice to finally meet you. Hmm. I've been heard lots and lots about you. All good stuff, I hope. Christo! Christo! Sir! Please, uh, go and serve lunch. As you can see, I have guests. <laughs> Ladies, what we'll do is after lunch, we shall go and sit by the pool and be inspired by nature. There is no way I'm hooking this man up with Didi. Uh, the man is money, 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 and class. Everything that I need. Father, but I thank you for this huge opportunity. I knew something good was going to happen to me when I woke up this morning. Are you okay? Cynthia, is something wrong with you? How can you talk like that? Do you realize that it's Brian's father? Uh -huh. So how does that change the price of fish in the market? Look, is a guy related to me? No. Is my friend's father? No. So why not? Imagine, he gave us 20k. 20k for ordinary cab. Oh, good. Man. Didi is going to think she has caught the greatest fish ever. That's true. <laughs> and she'll think so. She'll think she has caught a fish. Meanwhile, it's a snake. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invite myself out with Brian's father on a dinner date. I'll ask him if I can come along with you. Then I will call in sick. Then you can carry Didi along with you. I trust him. He has a weakness for small girls. He's a very nice man, but that's his only weakness. I'm sure that he'll be enticed by Didi. So just tell Didi some Congo Boo story that you can't have the guy because of some some long story anyway. Just make up something. Make up something and tell her. Oh God. This is going to be so much fun. I only pray that Brian's father plays ball because Didi is not a problem. I can't believe I let a man put me through all that pain. Cynthia, that abortion was so painful. It was as if the guy was using some instrument to rip out, rip out my womb. I will so deal with Brian. I will deal with him. By the time I'm through with him, he will run around Vegas. I can see you guys want to make jest of me. Right? But I'm not playing. I'm with Didi now. 
and you guys better accept it or leave it because that is what it is why is she not answering the phone so annoying She's got all you need to know. Are you nuts? Is there something wrong with you? I don't know you from anywhere. You just want me to come and meet you up at some silly hotel. You think I'm crazy? Or well, maybe you should check yourself into a psychiatric hospital. This way, I'm good. Bye. Tell them what's up now, eh? Believe me, girlfriend, this couch is a big one. Trust me. Isn't that what Didi said? Now see what has happened. <laughs> Speaking of which, see girl, I, I, I don't understand. Is Didi going to allow them to get away with that nonsense? What will you have her do? Oh jeez, see girlfriend, I know what to do. See, we're going to show them Pepe on this campus. We'll tell them, say, nobody, I repeat, nobody in this campus can mess around with us and go scot-free. Nobody. Mm. Who born dog? Hey, Didi would like to hear this. Sure, she will. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, tell me, girl, what's up with your Gen X? It's fine. Mean, it's okay. Are you serious? How the hell am I supposed to know that she is your girlfriend? That man, man. I, I, I thought she did. I was the only one. If you didn't have the habit of shagging young girls, probably this wouldn't have happened. Now you will not speak to me in that tone of voice again, ever. What I do with my spare time has absolutely nothing to do with you. A girl whose name I hardly remember. Dad, why do you do it? Why do you do it? Well, uh, like I said before, um, I like them, they like me. Uh, I give them what they want, they give me what I want. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. What could be wrong with that? Anyway, that's not why I call you. What's the matter with you and Chidera? 
Nothing. So? Dad, I don't want to talk about it. Besides, I have a project I need to wrap, wrap up. Excuse me. Wrap up. Stop acting like a sport Now you listen to me, my boy. Chidera is the best thing that's ever happened to you and you will be a bloody fool to throw her away. If you had not married her out of love, you should have married her out of ambition because she's the only girl who can help you achieve your dreams. But a girl like Didi will only destroy you. Now look, I am not going to live forever. Springwald needs capable hands. Clean up your act, son. Dad, are you threatening me? If I were you, I wouldn't wait to find out. Break down this door. You're right. You're right. She's there. Ah. Where are they? Eh? Don't even put that line because I know they're in there. Where are they? I don't know who you're talking about. Like hell you don't. Sit down, whatever your name is. Come out here or else. If it's um Cynthia you're talking about, she's not in. See this one though. Oh shut up. Look at her. Liar. My friend, listen. Hmm? Listen and listen very good. Tell those God for second girls that if they want trouble, I did it, will give them double. As they walk the campus, I'll be a leech behind their back. Nobody, nobody messes with me and gets away with it. Did you hear me? You better tell them that I did it, will eventually get even with them. And you better tell them. Belle, let's go. We'll be back. And when we come back, it shall be worse. I hope you do pass on the mistake. Tell them, oh, tell them. Crazy. <laughs> Why she think the money is the problem? So you think it's just, <laughs> just because I don't talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Shidera, please, can you just hear me out? I'm sorry. But you really are something, okay? You know? Why makes you think I'm going to stand and talk to you? Listen, I'm sorry. I, I really have to talk to you. Look, don't ever come near me again. Please, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Rubbish. So was he expecting that after everything, just text me? <laughs> hey, God, oh, if I had known, I would have typed that project myself. Do you know that the Tabi was sending to come today? Yes, she said tomorrow. Today, tomorrow. What is it? But didn't I tell you? Anyway, I just hope you meet the deadline. And if I don't, it's your fault, though. Huh? Sure, you, know, you didn't let me concentrate. You were sending me on those mysterious trip of yours. Of which man, I've been avoiding this you. Are you serious? I guess I get it by karate. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm she alive. catch me. Ah. But anyways, you does. It was worth it. If you hear what the reception said about Brian's face. Oh, anyway, for that one. Hmm? I am not through with him yet. Hmm? But if I finish with him, he will be so stoned. Before. Let's go there. No, we did it. Yet. No, we did it now. Oh. Oh. Right, right, right. <laughs> Dad, I can tell you anything, can't I? No, no. Don't tell me you've got a girl pregnant. No. Well, actually I did. <clears throat> Didi? Chidera. Well, 
<laughs> well, this is great. No, no, I think it is absolutely great. It means the wedding can take place quickly. Now, her parents, where do they live? I can get in touch with them. Yes, I can go and see them. Dad, you should have gotten remarried. See the way you're all excited about marriage. That's a woman's role. Look, I like the girl. Dad, I got her pregnant. And she refused to abort the baby. And then I threatened her that if she doesn't, I will leave. And I eventually left because she refused. And she eventually did. But it was too late. Dad, I knew it was a very foolish thing to do. Very stupid of me, but I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I, I was all alone. I didn't know what to do. Gosh, how I miss her every day I think about it. I miss her so much. It, it, it was just a decoy for me trying to forget about Dara, but it didn't work, Dad. It hasn't worked. indeed a stupid thing to do. I know. But I have no moral justification to stand here and judge you. Because I myself, uh, I did some foolish things in my youth. Some of which I regret as long as I live. All right. Have you tried to get her back? That's why I'm talking to you, Dad. That's why I'm bringing you in, because she wouldn't listen to me. She, she, she wouldn't hear what I have to say. And her flatmates, they hate me so much. I can't even get close to her. And Dad, we're going into the world now. We're going to finish school soon. It will be so hard to see her it might be even impossible that i need you to, to speak to her on my behalf please talk to her for me you like her she respects you she will listen to you well apart from your philandering ways i'll ignore that Son, I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. your will just go and do that because she's the worst driver ever and to feel how could you say that you know that's not true is it true sweetie mom i'm trying my best <laughs> <laughs> anyway welcome home my americana sister welcome eh? thank you i hope you brought some snow for us oh uh, is that one also unaffordable because of the recession <sighs> sister phil you know some people can love being in recession Anyway, you look good yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am so happy to see both of you. Especially my baby. Who now has a boyfriend? Hello. Come on, mom. I am 21. And that is a full-blown woman. Well, this house is looking better and better every time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know how heavy you are. <laughs> Uh, this girl, you know how heavy you are. 
Mm. Oh, your yeah, hair is really beautiful. I didn't know they made such hair in the States. I was going to say the same. Thank you. <sighs> Chidera. Yes, ma'am? You mean nothing happened between you and Brian? People just don't break up. Mom, nothing happened. One minute we were the happiest people on earth. The second, we weren't. Are you sure there is something you're not telling me? Mom, come on. Have I ever kept anything away from you before? But you know, I've been longing to meet him. If I had in my head, I had picked out some wedding colors for you. It would have been lime and burgundy. But anyways, always better a broken engagement than a broken marriage. I actually thought it's different. I thought so. <laughs> Me, I was not even thinking about the wedding colors. I was already thinking about the cutting colors that I put in the house she did I was going to buy for me <laughs> because that man is loaded. He's got money. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie Philo. Yes. Your food is burning. Congratulations. The best graduating student in the department. <laughs> it's no mean feat. Well, thank you very much, Chief. It wasn't that difficult because success comes to some of us easily, just as deceit comes to others. Hey, Mom! I'd like you to meet my mom. Mom, this is Chief Bankole, Brand's father. Chief Ban? Yes. Well, uh, um, it's, it's good to see you. Nice to meet you too. Um, you, your daughter is wonderful. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you are a beautiful woman. And you into a great old man. <laughs> now I see where she got her sharp tongue from. She's mine, isn't she? And what difference does it make? I knew it. I knew it. There was something disturbingly familiar about her. About her. But I, I couldn't make the connection. Wait a minute. Oh my God. She introduced you as Brian's father, didn't she? Yes. Oh God, God, please, I hope they didn't sleep together. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> That's it's all right, calm down, calm down. What? Yes, indeed. Brian is my son. But I am not his biological father. Oh God. Thank God. You see, I had a uh, household staff who became pregnant. Um, she and her husband decided they were going back to the village. Uh, no sooner they got to the village, the husband uh, died. Yes, his family threw her out, accusing her of all sorts of things. She came to me, told me her story, and I gave her her old job back. Unfortunately, she died mysteriously too. So, I was left with the the child. So I adopted him officially. 
as my son. And since then, I've taken responsibility for everything that he did. I sent him to school, and I've always loved him, too. He doesn't know anything about it. But we must tell them everything. Excuse me. Maybe you have something to tell your son. But I ain't got nothing to tell my daughter. She does not need you. I came home for her graduation and not for any kind of reunion. No. Excuse me, I gotta go. Hello? Who is this? Chief Bankale. I don't know how you got my number, but please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey! Oh, oh. Why are you stalking me? We don't want to have anything to do with you. Then I'll tell her myself. I have a right to share in my daughter's life. Right? How dare you stand there and talk to me about right? Did you not have the right to own up to the pregnancy? Did you not have the right to watch her grow? To give her your name, your home? You abandoned us. And 21 years after, you stand here and talk to me about right. You should be ashamed of yourself. Nora, but I, I was sending you money until you disappeared. Yes, of course. You think money can buy everything? Then use your money to buy Chidera. Make the offer directly to her. How much do you think she's worth? Five million, ten, twenty? Money, my foot. Did your money stay awake with her when she, when she couldn't sleep? Did your money stop my grandmother from maltreating me just because I was carrying your baby? Tell me, Chief, did your money answer her questions about father when she started asking? Nora, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I know I can never make up for it, but please, give me a chance with Chidera. I'm sorry, Chief. She does not know you. I never will. Get out. Chidera, can we at least talk I about it? I said get out! Chidera, please, just give me one chance. Well. How could you leave me? After all we shared? Didn't it mean a thing to you? You meant everything to me. You mean everything to me. Not a day goes by without me regretting it, Chidera. Please. Can you forgive me? I'll make it up to you. I just need one chance. Just one chance. <laughs> Another chance. It was you who taught me how to love. It was you who made me feel I could touch the sky. It was you! Shidera, please, can you just... Can you stop it? Forgive me, okay? I'm sorry. We're going to a tough world now. We need each other even more. Please. We've done it before. We can do it again. You know what? That is my fear. That if you've hurt me once before, then you could hurt me again. I'm sorry, Brian. But I could never, ever trust you again. Chidem. Chidem. Chidem.
Chidera. Chidera, I love you. Can you still go knowing that I love you? Just need one chance. Thank you for coming, please. Sit down. Thank you. Yes, shall we need it there? Um, yeah. Um, bring me a glass, yeah. please. What is it? <clears throat> Brian, you can at least greet us. Hello. What now? I was in the, in the middle of a very important meeting. This had better be good. Sit down. Mom, I got your message. Chidera, stop! You don't even know why we called you. Chidera. Brian, I mean, what is so important about me that you have to go to this extent? And you, Mom, when did you start becoming friendly with them? Huh? Sweetie, there is something you need to know. Please, sit down. Please, please. Twenty-four years ago, I met your mother. You cannot be serious. Brian, please calm down and listen to what I have to tell you. Brian, do not call me. I named you. What did my father call me? But have to be blood for there to be a relationship. Brian, do not call me in that name. What was best for us? Oh, mom. You mean you did what was best for you? Huh? You lied to me. Every single day of your life, you lied to me. You told me that you loved me. But mom, tell me. What's your definition of love? Huh? You, you told me you were raped by, by a marked guy. The man denied and abandoned us. He might as well have been mad. But he sent you money. He even sponsored your trip abroad. So mom, what else did you want from this man? What else did I want? Yes! A man got me pregnant at 17. I got thrown out of my parents' house to live with a grandmother that almost killed me. And you stand there to ask me what else did I want. Do you know what I went through? Pregnant at 17 and alone. Chidera, when you were born, I had you in a room and alone. My grandmother came in hours later to find us both in blood. I hopped on the streets to feed you. I starved so you could eat. I stayed up all night to find you when you couldn't even sleep because of the heat. You stand there to question me. Yes, he sent us money. Have you ever asked me when he started sending the money? You, you should have just at least told me. Would that be my choice to decide whether to hate him 
or to love him. But what do you do? Lies. Oh, you told me we're lies. I was 17. I was vulnerable. My parents worked for him. Do you know what it means? Sleeping with a 17 year old behind my parents' back. You don't know what I went through doing. My mother was so mad. She almost killed me. Jesus Christ. If that's how it happened, then it's rape. Unless he didn't know how old you were. Now, come here, come here. Who is responsible for this thing? I said, who is responsible for this pregnancy? I don't know. You don't know? So you don't know? An angel flew in and impregnated you. Nora! So you don't know who is responsible for this pregnancy? I've always said it. You've been a very useless girl. My daughter. Nora! My daughter, tell us who did this thing to you. Maybe we'll find a way to sort it out. Okay. You don't want to talk, eh? You don't want to talk. Okay, wait for me. But I never talked. When I got the chance to see Chief, I told him about the pregnancy. And he gave me money for abortion. But I never did. My parents sent me down to the village to live with my grandmother. I don't know if it was the pregnancy that made my grandmother so angry. She was never a happy woman. So now I have a score to set with his father too. Dad, 
I got in late yesterday. I'll make sure I'm there by noon. Maybe you have forgotten. You are the managing director. And all serious-minded people don't go drinking on Sundays. But they can go taking young girls to bed. Dad, please, come with some snack, please. You know I work very hard. I work very hard for this company. Day in, day out, I go to work. Besides, I'm trying to cope with my MBA. Please, the company will not crumble. Because I'm going to be- The company is crumbling! And the stocks are dropping! Dad, the stocks all over in Nigeria are dropping. It has nothing to do with us. Look, this is not just any company. This is Spring World. Now you better get your backside out of that bed and go and do something constructive. I'm starting to think the days of slavery may have been better than this. Dad, why are you getting paranoid? Nothing will happen to us. Something will, if we don't sit up. All right. Can I at least get a minute? I'll be out. And I didn't get where I am by lazing about. One minute. Yes, Dad. I saw him dropping you off. Mom, what are you doing? I thought you said you were here on a short visit. Are you driving me away from your apartment? Well, yes, because you're driving me nuts. Can you please stop smothering me? Now I'm smothering you, huh? Okay, I will leave. Or you will come and look for me. That was Brian, wasn't it? Chidera, what are both of you up to? Mom, I don't understand. I closed from work. I met him. He offered to take me home. I accepted. End of story. This is not right. This is not right and you know it. You can't date him. Why? Because he's your brother. Oh, really? Yes. Because he's your son? Because he's my father's son? No. So why can't I date him? This is not right. This is not right, Chidera. You know it. <sighs> Please, let's stay away from him. I mean, he has already cost you enough at egg. I thought you hated him the last time he dumped you. Well, Mom, that was five years ago. We were young and naive. Mora hates the only man I've ever known, and I would love to keep it that way. Mom, I'm so sorry. Okay, but I've had a rough day and I need to rest. Please. Chidera! You're walking away from me! do the candlelit thing anymore because I've done it once before. So we're just ordinary people as we don't know which way to go. Take it slow. I know where I want to go. <laughs> Come on, Brian, look, okay? Let's just enjoy what we have now, okay? Spoil it with this marriage thing in here. What is it? What? You won't make love to me. You won't marry me. What's the problem? I love you. Isn't that okay? 
last night you were saying something. Uh, I thought you mentioned marriage, but I wasn't quite sure. Oh yes. Yeah, I was talking. I came to your room, and I wanted to talk to you about getting married. And I was telling you about it, but you were so sleepy, you couldn't really hear me. Marriage? I didn't even know you were courting. Oh, well, when, when, why, why haven't you brought her home? Because I wanted to be sure. And now you are sure? Sure. When am I going to meet her? You've already met her, man. I have? Her name is Chidera. Chidera? My Chidera? Are you out of your mind? She is your sister. She isn't my sister, Dad. I will not have it. You understand? I will not have it. Once upon a time, you wanted me to get married to this lady so badly. You even threw an engagement party for us, remember? Dad, what happened? Why the change of mind? Look on the bright side of things. We can still be legally related through marriage. And, and I will still call you daddy as best son-in-law. But Dad, please, don't try and stop me, Chief. Because I'm doing this. Brian. You will not make me or yourself a laughing stock in this town. Chidera is your sister. She isn't. She's not. And no one in this town knows she's your daughter. Except for the four of us. And why can't we keep it that way? If madness has possessed your brain, then you better seek help. Or well, maybe I'm mad. But I'm madly in love with her. always been. I made a fool of myself once before by letting her go and I'm not going to do it the second time so that I get used to the idea because with or without your blessing I am taking her to the altar. Because if she continues like this, I will not be responsible for her actions. Huh. I thought it was a robbers. Eh? This is six months her job that I just collected. Am robbers will come into this place and just snatch it away from me. Uh -huh. uh, what did you say happened? Is it not your niece? She's still running around with that boy. If I sit down. Sit down. Is that why you want to kill yourself? Chide Raya is not going to marry that boy. I know her better than that. So, just relax. I assure you. She's not going to marry. I read about Spring World in the papers. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, you're talking about that story? Oh. I don't even know why the fool wrote that, and even half of it is not true. Brian, it's a company and problem. I mean, you can talk to me. Maybe I can help. You never can tell. Chidera, I can comfortably run Spring World. There is no problem. Now, can we just not talk about business? Hmm? Okay, fine, fine. No business. Okay, let's talk about you, me. Let's reminisce. Okay, fine, fine, yeah. That's all right. Uh, yeah, well, just a quick one. How much do you aim? 
quarterly. I will have to check the books. Bran. <laughs> you would have to check the books. You who could quote Aristotle can quote your own figure. I mean, your company figure. What's the record? Chitera. You know, you know I've had problems with figures. I've never liked figures. That's why I leave it with the accountants to handle. That's why I pay them so much. Even right now, in my MBA class, I am struggling. I think we should have said enough. And we should sell now. We will not be able to recover from the depths we are in. And we will never be able to get this kind of offer again. Run the company then. What my dad say? He will understand. We made one or two business mistakes. It could happen to anyone. At least be smart enough to jump out of the boat. Why is he sailing? If he sinks, it will be worse. What, 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 what about the staff? Ah, I rise up agree to retain 70% of them. The rest can go. Some of them don't do any work anyway. Oh, this is unbelievable. I mean, how... You don't say? beat yourself up too much about it. Just talk to your father. We have to next month. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I forgot something. Sorry to bother you. Chidara, what are you doing here? I work here. What? What do you mean? Brian, I bought over your company. I... I'm, I'm, I'm still confused. Brian... You really thought I was going to marry you? <laughs> Come on. I thought you were smarter than that. I told you I was going to get you back later. Are you saying... That everything between us was a lie? You didn't care? Why would you want to be so callous? Why? Because I learned from the best. Ch Chidera, even if you didn't care about me, you should have thought about your father. Because he put a lot into this company. You think you care about my father? After all he put my mother through? This is more about you than you. To avenge my mother's suffering. Now, if you don't mind, get the hell out of my office. I have lots of work to do. You left quite a rest. I would like us to go and see Chief Bankola. Chief Bankola? What for? Nothing. Just to pay him a visit. I forbid you from saying such a thing. Come on, Mom. He's still my father, you know. You're abandoning me for him, right? No! I mean, you're choosing him over me. No! I've been in Lagos for months. Just drained my pocket. I don't even have a dime with me to make sure your dream comes true. And now you are into this, huh? Mommy! I am not going to abandon you. And I appreciate everything that you have done for me. 
I just think that we should give him a chance to have a relationship with him. After buying their, their, their company, I thought I'd be satisfied, but no, I am not. Oh, please. He has been calling. Let's just give him a second chance. And if it doesn't work, then we know in our hearts that we tried our best, but it failed. He wanted you to know he's your father. I mean, he has succeeded in doing that. Now what else? What, Mom, what else do you want? Mom, I can understand your fears. But you have nothing to worry about. Mom. Nothing. And nobody can ever come between us. I promise. But can I rest? Mommy. Mommy. Mommy? Brian, loosen up. Look, <clears throat> if she had not bought the company, and I was outside, I could have done. At least, it remains in the family. Oh. Actually, I will be relocating to America with my mother. You can have back your company. I brought you all the documents. Everything. It's safe and intact. Even all this up. Yes. To my wonderful father. And to you, my brother. No, I'm, I'm not your brother. I'm not, I'm not your brother. Oh, yes. She is your sister. You know, I am impressed. But not surprised. <laughs> Make me cry. Hey! This is no lie. 
what I had to sacrifice. How could it be? It's all so wrong. So when my heart is right, wouldn't know all the pains I'm feeling, feeling for all the love I feel for you. you. No chance for me to make a meaning. Why I cannot be with you? Complications. See no hope we ever make it through.